Hey, it's Folio if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are playing Legend of the Gaia. So, uh, yeah, last time we liberated Soul Tower from the Mist. And then went and uh, had us a bunch of dreams. And uh, got us an item. Which we can use to make a... Uh, Basically, thermal bomb. Oh, and also, Oromias has been destroyed, which I'm sure that will have no ramifications on anything whatsoever ever again. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at the item that we got. Because it's kind of interesting. Uh, once I can find it. Once I remember what it is. Uh, it is... Eh, where is it? It's like a fire droplet, right? I think it's somewhere in this section. Amulets, jewels, grails, ring, book, 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 compass, bell. Oh, there it is. Fire droplet. But wait a minute, you can equip this. And it locks your AP to 100. Boy, oh boy, what can we do with this? Well, I have an idea. There's something that I forgot to do. But not the life on me. Where is... Okay, fire droplet. Rather than the uh, chicken heart, we're going to use... I think there is an item that we got. And maybe someone has it equipped already. There we go. Wonder Amulet, Nullify, all add normal status. So what we're gonna do... is uh, take the Door of Wind to Soul. I didn't want to have a bookmark. Okay, um, I forget what floor it is, but we're gonna go to the Muscle Dome. Actually, before we go to the Muscle Dome, there should be an inn right here. We're gonna go rest up. Because, yeah, like, we've been to where the Muscle Dome is, but we've never actually participated in the Muscle Dome. Muscle Dome's like on the fifth floor? Is that right? Soul Broadway. No. I don't think it's up from here. That's the warehouse. 
And then up from there is just the roof. It's all Broadway, elevator, don't be disco, nothing. Also, we're gonna go safe. Go take a look at the challenge within the Muscle Dome. How is this considered a wash of Strong, proud Gaza. A lot of mist elixir. Ah, there we go. Come on, enter the tournament. A hundred tokens, sure thing. Um, well, that's a good question. I guess we can only enter one person. Who shall it be? Noah, you want to go? Wait a minute, I don't want to enter. Why, why don't you enter, Vaughn? Okay, so it won't be Noah. Will it be Gala? Sorry, Vaughn, but vain, uh, vain displays of the martial arts of Byron are forbidden. Well, I guess that narrows it down, doesn't it? It's three levels. Well, let's, let's feel it out with beginner first. Welcome! All right. Round one. So yeah, Muscle Dome is just a uh, ballerina. We cannot use items, and uh, we can use our magic, but um, well, we can't restore MP. So that might be a problem. What's not a problem is the fact that we have basically unlimited AP. Alright, easy peasy. Uh, this is the beginner course, so that is to be expected. We don't gain any uh, experience. Round two. But we do gain points. All right, let's fight us a skeleton in much of the same way. There we go. Drake Ghost? Well, let me tell you what I got for this Drake Ghost. A lot of down attacks that do nothing. And also, yeah, one turn, one kill. Still not a problem. It's like this beginner arena is for beginners, right? Round four. Caravan. Alright, this might be a little trickier. Maybe. We'll see. Or not. I forget how long this is. I 
Gola Gola. Oh, it's the first one to not go down in one attack. So yeah, having the uh, the life grail for this is essential for the fact that it's the only way that we're going to be able to heal for free. You can't just buy items because um, that would probably make things a little too easy. Interval. Round six. Zito. Catherine Zito Jones. Let's go. Nice block there. No, still not falling over. Ow. That's uh that's a little painful. I'll go ahead and uh spear it up. Why not? I'll go ahead and uh spear it up again. Uh, we we may not need to um, to spare it up in order to gain AP, but uh, it'll still help us defend big attacks like that as well as extend our attack gauge. Starting to go down. Being attacked by a floppy can. Well, that's why we're equipped with the Wonder Amulet, so that we don't get poisoned by that. And especially useful for. Um, fights with really nasty effects, such as um, stone. There, There is at least one fight in the Muscle Dome that uh, will turn you to stone. So you absolutely need to have um, to have an accessory to deal with that if you want to be sure to make it to the end. And there goes my fridge again. Round seven. sure how these fights are balanced, honestly. Yes, oh, this jerk. Yeah, let's uh, let's hold no quarter for this one. Let's just go. Okay, 
Okay, let me bring up my art sheet and we'll do something fun here. Oh, so we only get eight. All right. Uh, there we That one stung a little. Let's uh let's try our hyper arts for this one, I guess. Cause we oh jeez. Let's defend for another turn, actually. Now I don't know if you can perform two hyper arts in one turn. Let's let's give it a try. Yes, you can. All right. Uh, for that matter, I could probably just have done fire blow twice, but. Uh, if this was an experiment. Ooh, that's spicy. Let's go ahead and veer up. So, since we can just do multiple uh, hyper arts in one turn, let's just do fire blow twice. But it's not like we have to worry about AD. Until he does bull charge again, which is now. Fire blow. Let's be as excessive as we possibly can here. Going right into another bull charge, which gives me another turn to uh, to heal passively. I use this turn to uh, spear it up, and then use the next turn to do fire blow twice. Start 
starting to fall down now. Man, you really love that Voltar move, don't you? I love when you do that because that gives me additional time to heal and charge up my uh, abilities so I can destroy you a little faster. I'm not I'm I'm not really sure if fire blow twice is the best way to uh to use a turn with uh eight spaces. But that's how I'm gonna do it. Down you go. And stay down. Yeah, that was a little rough. But we're, we're good. Did we do it? We did it! And the winner is Vaughn! Vaughn! 818 tokens cool. I... just what I wanted for Christmas. Actually, hang on. Uh, does my health get restored? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, let's save. Let's go ahead and uh, enter Expert. We've already established the fact that Vaughn is the only person who's going to be playing this. Round one. Starting with a black Piura. It was marginally more difficult than a red Piura. But you might notice something. Vaughn's gear is back to default. That is the difference. The fights are going to be a little harder, yes. But the big thing is we have to use default gear. Except for our... Um, Our accessories are kept. So we're still under the effect of the Life Grail, the Wonder Amulet, and the Fire Droplet. Round 3 
Oh. Well, that uh, that didn't go so well, did it? with contestant Vaughn knocked savage, savagely to the mat. Oh boy, oh boy, six tokens. So yeah, there's, there's a distinctive uh, difference between uh, beginner and expert, and then master just goes up from there. Um... I was going to try to go up to Master, but, you know, that's not going to happen. Um, the main reason I wanted to do that is there is evidently a um, glitch that happens if you try to do the uh, Master course with the Life Droplet. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure what the glitch is, but... Uh, I just got annihilated there very early, so I'm not really feeling my chances to even give that a try. Can I use the right one? Only to get from 4 to 7. So I could have used this one. Um while the power on the left one was out, and I didn't realize it. Oh well. So we're gonna wear that L. I am, I am not ashamed of that. We still made it out with um, 626 tokens ahead. So I'm happy with that. Uh, give me a second here. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and use the door wind. We're gonna go back to the Usha Research Center and do what we were supposed to do with the Fire Droplet. into the pipe. Hey you knuckleheads, the visitors are on the elevator, start winding! So now, I want to see us, uh, hang on. item shop. We're running a bit low on Doors of Wind, do you have any? No, you do not. Okay. Well, we're going to need to stock up on those when we get the chance here. I guess we could have bought a few at Seoul, but I... Didn't think to do that. Oh well.
Have you ever had a dream in Urmaya? So, yeah, we sure have. I mean, kind of, yeah. That's how it worked. It's, I beg to differ, but what a... Wait, 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 wait. Time space bombs, plural? There's gonna be multiple of these? Oh, amazing, simply amazing. You came back with the fire droplets. Tell me, tell me about Urmaeus. Tell me about your dreams, about Tieg, about the fire droplets. Doctor. Doctor Usha. What? Yes, I suppose you're right. We have no time to waste if we are to free the world from the mist. Now then, give me the fire droplet. Find the fire droplet. So this is the fire droplet, the mysterious treasure. I feel such powerful energy. Assistant one, assistant two, are you ready? And I gotta actually, you know, name them by their names that they surely have. Standby radioactive reactor. Set temperature to 8400. Temperature set to 8400. Reactor heating smoothly. Standby complete. Be begin heating once the Imperial Solvent is ready. One and two Smith. Super saturated power stones with dragon water. All set. We're going to insert the fire droplets into the Imperial Solvent. Also, yeah, hey Tyrion, how you doing? Flash protection ready. Fire extinguishing system ready. Insert! Inserting! And that's how we all died. Assistant 1, Assistant 2, good work. You're all fired. I mean, we're all finished. Sometimes I even impressed myself. <laughs> Here they are, the time space bombs. Playing something while thinking what to. Well, I mean, it seems like you're already playing something. Unless it's just, like, a very, like, it's a game to kill your fridge, like it's killing mine. Anyway, we have four times space bombs now. Why four times space bombs? There is a reason. Listen! One is for blasting open the entrance to Nevera Ravine. Place it in front of the block of ice at the entrance and press the switch. The bomb will explode three seconds after you press the switch, so find shelter quickly. The other three must be set off simultaneously. In Nivera Ravine, the road splits into three tunnels. Thunder Tunnel, Fire Tunnel, and Wind Tunnel. You must each enter a separate tunnel. Each tunnel leads to Cove. When you all get there, you must set the time space bombs at the same time. Koru can only be destroyed by the combined blasts of all three bombs. Good luck. I know you can do it. You can melt the ice of Buma. Considering suffering, you're playing Majora's Mask and not planning to beat it right now. Fair enough. I'm sorry, I just can't help being a worrywart. I'm afraid I have to give you a test again. What? What happens if we get the test wrong? Like, do you take away our bombs? Let's start with an easy one. Now, where is it you want to go? Uh, we want to go to Borneo. We're gonna go to Sol and you know what? Never mind. Never again. Very good. Now, second question. Where will you use the time-space bomb first? 
We're going to go to Niver Ravine and blow up Uramayas. Which is already blown up, by the way. We're gonna blow up the entrance. Oh, you're all so smart. Now, how long after the time so uh, after the switch is pressed will the time space bomb explode? Three seconds, two seconds, one second, or game changes after three seconds? What does this mean? Sorry, you're wrong. Now try again. What if I just ignore your test? Apparently I can. I didn't actually want to, though. Yeah, I don't know what that game changes after three seconds. Like, what does that mean? Anyway, we probably get an item for her for doing this, so... Let's, uh... Let's do it right. Use at the entrance. Three seconds. Why do you want to destroy Koru with the time space bomb? A time space bomb is there. What? Because we hate Nivra Ravine. To destroy the mist generator or to awaken Boomer's Genesis Street. We hate Nivra Ravine. You suck. Uh yeah, ultimately, yes. Precisely. If you're lucky, it will stop the flow of cold air for, for, from the Niver Ravine and melt the ice around Boomer's Genesis tree. Well done. You certainly are heroes and smart. You got every question right. Oh, that was actually kind of worth it, wasn't it? Those are your prizes. Niver Ravine is cold, so make sure you don't catch a cold there. Good luck. I know you'll be successful. Waking up a tree with a bomb sounds excessive? Well... Sometimes excess is best. Or something. And a dang way, let's head over to Never Ravine. So apparently after we took off the fire droplet, it uh, it seems to have reset uh, Vaughn's AP to what it was before, so we, we couldn't have just used it to immediately bump everyone's AP to 100 AS. Actually, use spirit. Up. How long is yours? You're only at the seven. I feel like it's going to take a while before we can get um, Gala up to his full bar. Gala levels up, which will get him one step closer to getting that full bar. 
Are we still some ways away though? Oh, okay, so that's probably where we're going next. That big wall of ice is. I'm guessing that uh, unleashing the boom in Booma is going to uh, melt that ice as well. Sir, I do not appreciate that, getting the warp on for 10% of all my stats. I also don't appreciate that, holy crap. I'm gonna have to use some magic that uh, targets everything because this is getting a little out of hand. Uh, is there attack all enemies? The best we can do is attack enemy and range. Actually, no. Let's uh, have you attack that one. Just because it's a little more out of the way. Ow! And now that's only going to hit the Groot because the Groot friggin' moved away. I do not appreciate that either. Didn't even defeat it. Like, that was a complete waste. And now Melt Spray is going to happen again on Gala again. Don't attack the Groods, attack the actual problem. Well, I'm gonna disregard my uh, my AP for this because like this acid milk thing is kinda rough. That was also looking a bit rough, honestly. Uh, so let's go ahead and heal her up. Actually, yeah. Okay. Is your Vera up to level 9? No. So heal yourself, actually. Yep. Yeah. Use Spirit. I get uh, Noah's uh, beer leveled up.
Okay, so I can just walk through these trees. I don't have to walk around them. Should be able to get into Niver Ravine next, uh, after this fight, basically. Swinging those arms. I'm probably not actually going to get to that spirit though. Yeah, sure enough. We did get a fury boost. I think uh, extends our attack gauge to like spirit length for the rest of the fight. Get in, get in, get in. Alright. We've already looked around here for items, so we're not gonna bother doing that again. Not that there was a whole lot to, you know, look for. Dr. Usha said to plant the first uh, time-space bomb here. Oh goody, goody, there's gonna be a big explosion! I'll set the time-space bomb. When I press the buttons, I'll give the signal. And I do run and find shelter. Gala, it, ex it explodes in three seconds, right? That's right. In three seconds, Nivra will change in one, two, three. Ugh. Also, shouldn't they just like go for shelter now? Because like Gala is the only person who needs to put himself in danger. And also three seconds is really freaking short, by the way. First connect the wires, then go, then go like this. All set. Alright, I press the switch. Run! One! Two! I don't think they ran enough. Dr. Usha, you liar. I counted right. I counted one, two. Was it defective? Why did it, why did it explode so soon? That was, that was substantially more than three seconds, by the way. Is everyone alright? Well, there are no doubts about the time space bomb's power. Look at the entrance. Two is not enough, four is too much, five is way out. Wow, that time space bomb is so powerful, but if the time space bomb is so powerful, why didn't they use it on the Genesis tree in Buma? Then they could have melted the ice on the Genesis trees right away. That, that, would, have, that would have obliterated the trees. No, no, you can't do that. Now listen, Noah. A powerful bomb like that would destroy the Genesis tree, and Buma, and everyone there. 
Oh, I guess the time space bomb is too powerful. Maybe, just maybe, these bombs aren't a great idea. You think? Careful, if you slip you'll fall right into the mist. Ah. Uh, now the, the Genesis Tree of Soul is revived and the mist around it is gone. This is our chance to charge the floating castle. Don't be hasty, Zora is powerful. Quiet, someone's coming. Bon Gala, over here! There's no mist over here! Can't wait to lose the other bombs and it being a plot point, because that's exactly what you're expecting. Well, we'll see what happens. Ah, the summit. So not even the mist can make it to this great height. Wow, that didn't take us long to get to the top of this mountain. What's wrong, Noah? That's strange. I thought I saw someone nearby. I don't see anyone. Never mind. Come on, Kala, let's go! A warrior icon. What does this do? It's probably equipment. Warrior icon. Counterattack at a fixed rate. Interesting. We get to counterattack now. Hmm. I'll give it to you. Um, there it is. Oops. We already have a save point? I... That makes me very worrisome. Yeah, we have 17 healing berries, wow. Um, let's go ahead and use... Please just use up these healing leaves, because why not? Let's go ahead and save. As usual, saving this little corner slot because we are in a dungeon. This must be the entrance to the, tr to the three tunnels. We'll have to split up from here and make our make way on our home on our own. Bon, Noah, are you ready? As ready as we're gonna be. Good. I'll take the tunnel, uh, the thunder tunnel on the right, and head for where we'll set the bomb. I'll take the middle tunnel. That means you have the left tunnel, Vaughn. You want help for controls in the three tunnels, sure. In this dungeon, Von, Noah, and Gala split up and go into separate tunnels. To control a different user, press the square button on the controller. The screen will jump to a character in another tunnel and you will have control of this character. And we immediately get a fight. So every fight here is going to be a solo battle. 
I'm sure this will end well. Let's try auto and see what happens. I'm hoping that the uh, the fights here are kind of scaled appropriately. Uh, ow. Okay, you're gonna attack first, that's cool. Okay, that wasn't too terrible. Yes, there is a metal gem. Let's uh, find out what that does. Gem. I probably just missed. Man, I'm great at finding these, aren't I? Metal Gem. Consume 50% less AP. Ooh, that's really good. Um, who should we use that on? Because we definitely should use that on someone. I think Noah might have the metal ring. Should probably replace that with a metal gem. Switch back to Vaughn here. Gonna take take him as far as we can go. This is almost definitely going to be a puzzle where like you do something in one cave in order to unlock another cave. Oh good. We're we're dealing with the devil. Nice. I think this is one of those that really hurts. I mean, that's not terrible. It's not great, it's not terrible. That raw sire is looking real beefy right now. Wish to push this. Won't budge an inch. Well, there, there's a seal on top there. I'm kind of seeing the same marking on the, on the actual pillar. So that's probably the indication. What do we find here? A rainbow jewel. Increased defense against all powers. So Rainbow Jewel is basically your Earth Jewel, Deep Sea Jewel, Burning Jewel, Tempest Jewel, Mad Light Jewel, Luminous Jewel, and any other jewel that we have not actually um, collected. The only jewel that it doesn't function like is, of course, Jewel Mara.
Okay, so that's going to allow, well, presumably going to allow Vaughn to push that. So we can keep going. Come on now. I know I can defeat a near brood in two turns. There we go. Get us another item of fury boost. Alright. That could very well come in handy. Well, that was a well timed uh, spirit. A mere 81 damage, already healed away with our life rail. Oh, that's less good. Yeah. Please don't do that again. What did I just say? Uh, this is getting a little too spicy now. Vera, please. Now be good and... Okay, there's no being good for you, is there? I need to take this guy down. I mean, it's Lucifer, I mean, you're not wrong. Also, I missed that message. Missed the uh, missed the alien abduction for Majora's Mask for the first time. Yeah, I mean, if you play a game long enough, eventually something like that is going to happen. And just dust off and move on. Ah, look, the only way to get through is to get that ball of snow up there to fall over. Okay, so that's the end of the line for Vaughn for now. Meanwhile, Noah can keep advancing. Shield control panel. Okay, sure. Ah, oh, that did. Okay. That looks like something that we needed to do. Do you have a lure? Well, you don't have a whole lot, do you? And this trying again requires resetting time. Do you th the first bit and wait until 2 a.m.? Ah, that's uh, that is definitely unfortunate.
Oh, look at that. We got the power of Uluru. Of course, big long corridors that exist only to uh, make us fight more. Mm. That was not a whole lot of damage, actually. Now let's take advantage of the fact that it cost you half the amount of... Uh, Oh, you only get six, alright. There you go. And stole the magic leaf. It's kind of the nice thing about having a sequence like this is, uh... Since Noah is fighting on her own, then she's pretty much guaranteed to get uh, final blows on enemies, which I think you have to get the final blow in order to proc the evil god icon. Magic fruit. Don't mind if I do. So what does Aluru do? Kill or attack enemies? So, oh, I think we've seen this, yeah. I think at least one other party member has it. It's one of the few um, holy attack magics. Straight up use Vulture Blade on this one. One hit kill. Well, technically more than one hit, but one chain of attacks. Oh, did I get turned around? Because this is the same switch, right? Lever is stuck, yeah. Got turned around, gotta do it again. up in the menu again. Now this time let's not get turned around. 
down the stairs, to the right, and keep right. It would be nice if uh, level nine, um, level nine Vera, would actually heal up AP outside of battle. There we go. Ah, oh, she's already at the destination. We did it, Noah. This must be Koru. We have to wait until everyone is in position. And we still have yet to move Gala. Doing that now. But it's not a very long area. It's just kind of quirky. And also conspicuously splits up the party. I'm sure this uh, this won't come into play once everyone's in position. Oh! That's what I'm talking about. Ha! Twice in a row. So when you say counterattack at a fixed rate, is the fixed rate one in one? Because like that was that was a little OP, let's be real. Okay, so we get a spirit jewel. And let's go ahead and arrange. And the spirit jewel. Where is it? Doesn't appear to be among the other jewels. It's also not a special item. Oh, there it is. Consume 25% less MP. Oh, I kind of like that. I kind of like that for something that um, probably Vaughn would carry. Also, is there another box? Oh, you look unpleasant, sir. The suddenly fighting friggin' Doe from Arkanoid. scuffed up in that one. I'm gonna have him heal. Um, yeah. Where is your Vera at? Level 8? Almost there. Oh, okay. That wasn't another passage. Uh, another passage. It was just another way to get there. You're like something over here. No.
Do you have a lower? No, you don't. Yeah, he just seems to be countering everything. Well, everything that is a direct attack, anyway. Kind of hard to counter a cannon. Unless you have another cannon. So yeah, the uh, the lever that we pulled with uh, Noah is what opened that up. May fill the large gap in Vaughn's path. Well, I sure hope it does, otherwise why am I doing this? All of a sudden it like veers to the left and hits uh, Vaughn in the face. Oh. That, that, that hurt. Oh. Okay, we're not, we're not dead yet. We're still good. Punching a face made of lava sounds like a bad plan. I mean, I don't really have any other ideas on how to deal with this uh, monster face. You did not get countered. How dare. Also, 1,000 damage exactly. Feel good about that one. I should probably heal up. And there we go. We're finally here, Gala. This is Koru, the Ice Serum. Now we have to wait until everyone is in position. And that's uh, Vaughn settled. It looks like everyone has reached Koru. Hey, Vaughn! Can you hear me? Let's set the time space bombs. There's a save point right there that I would really like to use before we do this. Wait! And that's why. The mist is salvation. The mist is eternal. Perfect harmony. The millennium of mist and followers is our goal. That is what we promised Lord Zora. A millennium of... Well, a millennium of followers is my goal. No, it actually isn't. But... Swine! You're... You're enemies of Lord Zora. And therefore our enemies. You shall die. I'm Guy Delilus, expert at fatal blows to a killing point on my opponent's body. I'm Lou Delilus, I strike with lightning speed. 
<laughs> a millennium of mist. It's not that good of a game. And I'm Jay Delilah. Brute strength and chaos are what I'm about. And he causes a, uh, a cave-in. Great. We are the Ginyu Force. We will, ne we will never let you destroy Koyu. He has been placed here by Lord Zora. Youngsters, when you play with fire, you get burned. <laughs> yeah! This will be your final resting place! <laughs> Fight me! I will show you how strength is used. The battle against the Delia's siblings will now begin. The match is three consecutive one-on-one -on -one battles. Before the battle, prepare your three fighters, Vaughn, Noah, and Gal. You don't get to save because F you. But at the very least, it does give us the chance to heal up and equip up. So let's take it. And you don't need to point uh, to point out who our team is. Uh, let's go ahead and use magic leaves since we're not in battle. Um, and we're looking at equipment here. I don't know if I need the wondering. There's so many options, is the thing. Okay, so I am going to switch out the evil god icon for... in the guardian chain. And, uh... Maybe a force I'll do. Alright. Let's try it with this loadout. I do really wish that it would let us save right there though, because like we just did basically an entire dungeon, and now we have to fight three dudes. Well, that's a well-timed uh, spirit, anyway. You give me a cupcake. Yeah. 
Oh, that looks uh, really nasty. Fortunately, we were blocking that. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Ah. Oh come on. Really? Are you serious? Yeah, that was a great counter. Got one attack off. Go ahead and use a healing flower. Oh. We're not going to survive this, are we? No. So we get to do that entire dungeon again. This time, I'm going to try to get um, Vaughn to the center first and see if we get the option to save. Like, the best thing about this is there are cutscenes and we can't skip any cutscenes. I think we might be able to skip like the pre-baked ones, but this now... No, we got it, game. Thanks. Thanks for making us do this all over again. Oops. Wrong button. Oh, right, and that means that we no longer have captured Aluru, so hopefully we can do that again. did get it again. At least there's that. So, for the sake of, like, not having to repeat this entire thing over and over again, if we can't save um, before the Delilah's siblings, then I will make it save before the Delilah's siblings. Like, the fact is, we get the joke. We don't need to do this 
47 times. Should have given me a save before. Yeah, and there is a save space. Like, there's a save statue right there. But it didn't let me use it because it just locked me into a cutscene immediately and just. Nope. You gotta deal with this now. Sorry. Okay, so park him there. Push this. Good block. But yeah, I feel like uh, bosses that use specials, like big specials, usually use them on a pattern. It seemed like Che there was using. Um, was using his vehement pain every three turns. I could be wrong on that, but that seemed to be what was happening there. So then the, the pattern would be spirit, attack, spirit, Heal, attack, spirit, heal, attack, spirit, and so on. Get these items again and also not get turned around. Oh, look, it's Lucifer again. How much death is. Uh, are they going to impart on us this time? Oh, off to a good start for sure. He decided to do a regular attack, which works for me. Want to do that again? No, not that. There we go. I'm gonna heal him up before the next fight.
I, I do like there how um, Gala actually turned to look at the gate. That is actually a pretty good touch. Oh, I um, didn't think to heal you. That might be a problem. Okay, we're still alive. I'm pretty sure that was a net negative. Yeah, let's use a healing flower. Uh, he's not countering as much as he was before. I think I might have burnt all of my luck. Oh, there it is. Of course, it did block that uh, hyper art, which I'm not a fan of, but uh, that is what that is. Go ahead and shove this. And now we can get Vaughn into place and hopefully actually use that uh, that save point. I also get slightly different dialogue. Vaughn, this is Koru. This is where we must plant the bomb. But the others don't seem to have reached their destinations. We must li we must wait a little while. Nope, straight up not. Alright, well, you know what that means. If the game will let me save, I'll find another way to save. But first we gotta get everyone into position. Actually, doing uh, spirit there would have been a real good idea because, uh, oh geez. Yeah, I would like to not die. Can we, can we avoid dying, please? Old problems, modern solutions. Exactly. Here advances to is it level eight or level nine? Because okay, once again, this is not really advancing the plot here. Yeah, this run through Niver Ravine is um going a lot more roughly than the last one. Also, something that I found out just recently um, by stumbling upon a Legend of the Gaia fan site that uh, at some point got a, um, a refresh that, as far as I can tell, probably removed any useful content from it. But it still has news posts, and I found out that apparently um, the first Sunday of May is Lagaya Day. 
and Legaia Day means that you're meant to play Legend of Legaia for at least two hours, get as many people as possible involved in this endeavor, uh, ideally start from the beginning, and really the important thing is just to play the Legend of Legaia for two hours. Oh boy. Um, can we recover in time? No? Okay. Whew. Yeah, that would have killed us if uh, Gala hadn't defended. Like, I, I would prefer to not die uh, before we actually get to the fights. I would prefer to not die on the fights, but you know. Dying is something that is probably going to happen a couple of times because these are a little rough, I'm sure you've noticed. Um, there we go. Back up to flow. Looks like we're all in position by cool. What took you, Gala? The bombs! We have to push up buttons on the bombs! Hurry! And here we go with uh with this garbage again. Ba -da. Do, do. And right now I'm just mashing cross because like we've seen this. I still find it adorable that uh, Noah decides to just pose along with them. Okay, so... First, let's get everyone healed. Next, let's get everyone's magic back up to full. Now let's uh, look at equipment. Now I'll leave it as uh, I'll leave it as that. Uh, you're definitely getting the metal gem instead of the metal ring, and you're also getting the guardian chain. Do I want to change anything that you've got, though? I was like, the problem was... was getting whammed. What if I use the Rainbow Jewel? Will that help? Let's see if that helps. Anyway, since, uh, since the game was not so cordial to give us a save point, we're making a save point here. And um, 
I'm also taking a break before we try this again. So y'all can take a moment, um, get some to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth, and in about 10 to 15 minutes we shall attempt once again to face the Delilah siblings. So, I'll see you in a bit.